Hey guys, it's Rocket Stripes, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to record with GeForce Experience. So the first thing you need to do is make sure that you have the correct graphics card to run this. So how you're going to do that is open the start bar and then type in device manager, click on that. Now click on display adapters, and right here it will show your graphics card. So make sure that it says Nvidia. If it doesn't, this will not work. You have to have Nvidia. The exact card doesn't matter as long as it's Nvidia, it should work. Now close that and then open your browser. Now go to geforce.com. I'll leave a link in the description or you can just search geforce. It should be the top link. Anyway, now go to geforce experience and then right here it should have a download now button. So click that and it will start downloading. So just wait for that. So once it is done, click on it. It will ask if you want to allow the app to make changes to your device. Click yes and it will load. Click agree and install. Now it will install and launch. So it will automatically open, click get started, and then you need to log in with either Google, Nvidia. So I'm just going to log in with Nvidia. Now, once you do that, click continue, continue, continue. It will scan for any games you have that's compatible with it. It will just show it right here. And now you need to set up your recording. So first of all, I'm going to show you how to set up recording. Then I will show you how to set up streaming. And then I will walk through all the different options. To start everything though, you need to click right here on the little share icon. Then we need to go to settings, scroll down to the bottom to privacy control and then click yes so that it can actually stream record or whatever you would like and then i will walk through all the different options so for recording you're going to want to click on this click customize and then you can choose any of these but what i would recommend is to go to custom change the frame rate to 30 the resolution you will probably want at 1080 especially if it's for youtube and then the bit rate 30 is perfect click save and then to choose your microphone you're going to click on the microphone you'll most likely want it always on so you can click on that or if you want it push to talk or off just select those and then to choose your microphone if you have multiple click on customize and then you can choose whichever one you would like i would like the blue snowball you can also change the volume on your microphone although i would recommend to keep it at 100 click save and there we go so now if you want to start recording just click here and click start and that will pop up to let you know and it will automatically start recording to set up broadcasting you're going to click on broadcast customize and you can have any of these i'll show you how to log into your accounts in a moment so you can obviously set it at whatever you'd like personally i'd go with customs 30 frames and 1080 for twitch for youtube same thing and obviously whatever you want probably 720 for facebook then click save and to start broadcasting you're going to need to click start it will show you all the options of things that you can stream to which are twitch youtube and facebook and i'll show you how to log in in a moment you can just put in your title and you can select who you would like to see it and then click start when you're going to start streaming but first of course you need to know how to log into those accounts so let's click settings and then connect and then you log into your accounts from here so you want to log into facebook double click on that and it will open this and then you can put in your information and if you would like you can keep yourself logged in now i'm going to show you guys all the optional settings you have so we're going Going to click on settings first of all i've already showed you this but you can log into any of your accounts and this is mainly for streaming for overlays you can have a camera so this will just be your webcam so you can have face cam so my personal preference i like to have it in one of the top corners in large usually and then at any point you can just click here to turn it off and it will turn it off in the recording or the stream none of these show only the camera shows so then you have status indicator and this will let you know if you're streaming or if you're recording recording or whatever you're doing and i'm going to put that at the bottom corner i prefer it there now you have fps counter and this is for any games that it's compatible with in the corner it will show you your frames and then you can just click whichever corner you'd like it in if you click it up here it brings down your face cam a little bit though so just be aware of that and for viewers this is for broadcasting so this will just tell you how many people are watching your stream and it does the same thing with the fps counter it will move your face cam a little bit towards the middle keyboard shortcuts so then you can obviously change any of these keyboard shortcuts if you like pretty self-explanatory these are where your recordings go you can change it by clicking on the three dotted arrows and then you can choose whichever folder you like and then you click done so for broadcasting these are any custom overlays you would like so I'll automatically have it in pictures you can choose any from your folders be warned they have to be a PNG file and then you can toggle those off and on as you would like throughout the stream but your face cam does go 
go on top of it. So if you have one that's covering your face cam, your face cam will stay on top of it. So if you take any screenshots, you can have it so it asks you or it automatically uploads to any of these if you're logged in. I would, I'm going to keep it on always ask me, you do whatever you would like. Uh, notifications, these are so it pops up in the corner to let you know you're recording or you're streaming or whatever you're doing, you're doing. The last thing, and personally I find this very interesting but not very practical, instant replay. So you can turn this on by clicking here and you can set this up by doing customize. So it lets you, if you were not recording yet you did something very interesting, you can have it on your computer. It will create it even if it happened up to up to 20 minutes ago, as long as you have it turned on. You can choose the settings. So I would keep it same as my recording. I don't use it because I don't think it's very practical, but if you would like it, it is really a cool feature. And if you do want to get to it, open your start menu and type in GeForce, click on GeForce Experience and it will open up. Also, it will notify you if you need to update your drivers. So you can click on drivers and here it will show you if you want to know if you have the latest, obviously click check for updates. It will let you know if you have one that's ready to be installed or if you have the latest. Anyway, that's all for this tutorial. I really hope that it was helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see y'all later. Goodbye.